This guy makes $25 million a year for three years. Fangraphs pegs him as the 26th best starting pitcher coming into the season in the league. 26th. So the 26th best starting pitcher is making $25 million. The guy above him, Johnny Cueto, is only making $21 million. Look at some of the other guys on young contracts. Like Dallas Keuchel. Like Jacob DeGrom. Like Noah Syndergaard. These are guys not making anywhere near $25 million. And I'm supposed to believe that owners said, don't sign any of these guys. Come on. What ended up happening was Scott Boris, who had all of these clients that were unsigned, were asking the moon. You know what? Most of them got it anyway. It took until now, mid-March, but most of them got it anyway. Yeah, a couple of guys got screwed, like Mike Moustakis. They declined the player option or the team option last year. Moustakis has to come back with his tail between his legs. But most guys got paid this offseason. And there was some big money thrown around. Big time money. Phillies just spent 75 mil over three years on Jake Arrieta. Who's now a good three or four. A very, very good three or four. A solid two, but nobody's ace. He's making 25 mil. Nobody's ace. 25 mil. I mean, he's kind of the Phillies ace, but out of default because... They're not a good starting pitching rotation right now. Uh, smells to me like it wasn't collusion all along. It was simply that these guys' agents had overvalued their monetary numbers. They came back to bite them. Sorry, end of the day, y'all end up getting paid anyway. So what's the difference?